Senators will be sworn in as jurors today for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas' impeachment trial. And higher interest rates could stick around for a while as inflation is still running above 2 percent. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Senators will be sworn in today as jurors in the impeachment trial of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Democrats want to dispose of the trial quickly, but NPR's Claudia Grisales reports this has Republicans ramping up pressure to allow a full trial. Utah Republican Senator Mitt Romney joined other members of his party to say he wants the Senate to have the opportunity for some debate on the Mayorkas impeachment rather than dismiss the trial outright. I'd far prefer having a, a debate, a discussion of some kind, or a trial, or a committee discussion. I think a motion to table uh, sets a very unfortunate constitutional precedent. Senate Democrats may follow Romney's lead since he's a swing vote in a narrowly controlled chamber who could help wrap up the trial as quickly as possible. Democrats criticize the proceeding and argue the impeachment process is intended for high crimes and misdemeanors, not policy disputes. Claudia Grisales. NPR News. Seven jurors have been selected in the New York criminal fraud trial against former President Donald Trump. There won't be any court activity today, as the judge has ordered breaks in proceedings on Wednesdays. Trump denies charges that he falsified business records to conceal an affair before the 2016 election. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell says it will probably be a while before the central bank cuts interest rates. In a speech, the Fed chair says that inflation is still running above the central bank's target of 2 percent. And Powell says that means higher rates need to stay put. Right now, given the strength of the labor market and progress on inflation so far, it's appropriate to allow restrictive policy further time to work and let the data and the evolving outlook guide us. Earlier this year, Federal Reserve policymakers signaled they could try to cut interest rates as many as three times in 2024. Russia attacked Ukraine this morning, hitting the northern city of Chernihiv. NPR's Hanna Palomarenko reports from Kyiv. Local authorities say at least 14 people have been killed and about 60 others wounded. Residents of Chernihiv captured on video the moments of the city under attack. The strike damaged residential buildings and a clinic in a densely populated area. The head of the regional military administration, Vyacheslav Chaus, spoke from the site. He says the enemy launched three missile strikes almost in the center of the city. There are dead and many wounded. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky responded to the shelling and called on partners to show sufficient determination and provide, quote, sufficient support to reflect it. Hanna Polomarenko, NPR News, Kyiv. This is NPR.